What's up, everyone? This is Zelda Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 12. Now, last time, we further explored the Fawn Coast and made our way, explored a little bit of the Sucha Uplands. However, you can see that I am back at the Hunter's Camp here on Fawn Coast. Well, in this episode, I'm going to first go ahead and do a few important things you guys have told me to do in the past few episodes. Since, as a gentle reminder, I was gone for the previous week, a couple episodes or whatever, because of spring break. Now, the first thing that I was told was that there is actually a freaking Cartographer's Guild Moogle in the Fawn Coast. And he's up here. Figures he's just right out of the way from where the regular path was, but whatever. Good day, Hunter. How may I help you, Kupo? So, you're a cartographer. Would you like to buy a map, Kupo? Yes, I will buy a map of the Fawn Coast. Thank you. A fine purchase. Hooray! Now we actually have a map of the Fawn Coast. So now, what does this place look like? Holy jeez, this is one big place. Most of it just kind of dead ends. In fact, it all kind of dead ends. I... I think I actually did... Well, actually, no, I didn't take the most direct route. I went to a little bit of a side area. But I mostly went on a direct route. Oh, well, whatever. So that was the first thing that I needed to do, was to go talk to the cartographer's Moogle. The second thing that I need to do is over down at the shop here at the hunter's camp. I was told of a very good spell that I should invest in. I haven't really had any need for it now, but it is something I will need later. And that spell is Cleanse. Remove disease from one ally. If this is a status ailment that I think you guys have told me about, uh, disease lowers my max HP until I go through like a tr screen transition or something like that. So I haven't run into it yet, but I was told I will run into it relatively soon. So we gotta go get that now. Also, since I'm right here, I may as well sell some of the crap that I've also gotten, so excuse me. Okay, no new um, bizarre goods. Another thing that just occurs to me that I completely forgot last time I never equipped Fran's new bow. Now it's equipped. Ah, oh, man, I felt silly going through that in editing. It's like, no, why did I not do that? Oh, whatever. There are two more things that we need to go, and they're both in different areas, though. The first place that we are going to head on over is to the Moss Foreign Highway. Now the important th thing here, kind of combine those words there. Oh, it's craftsman Google. Heard the shrines were broken, the springs dried up. But look at all that water, Koopo. I came all the way out here for nothing. Ah, oh, well, sorry about that. I was told that I should actually activate these shrines since they will lead to a way to an optional Esper sometime later. Now, first, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to these people right here. Of the yellow shrines up here always had water, so I started wondering why none of the yellows did. And so I thought, then water started bubbling from the rest of the shrines. This fellow here says the shrine waters have something to do with a road to a hidden place in the moss foreign and high waste. Intriguing, eh? Okay, you mean the learned man or Adair? I admit, when the water started flowing from the shrine, I was quite surprised. Take a look, boy, it's quite beautiful. That one over there, he's come all the way from Arcadius to visit this shrine and learn its secrets. I mean, this guy? Behold! Water has returned to the parched shrines! I still don't know how the flow came back, but this clears up a few mysteries. Would you care to hear my theory? Um, sure, I guess. Previously, I believe these springs were a sort of artificial spring, meant to deliver water to these mountains. How wrong I was. In fact, when water is flowing to the shrines, touching a shrine just so causes the temperature of the water to rise quite dramatically. The steam from this, 
That's what lifts up the float weed around the shrines. Floating up like balloons, floating on air itself. It's a characteristic of the float weed that makes it react to the steam cell. In fact, I believe the shrines were made for no other purpose. With me so far? I, uh, I guess. Then allow me to continue. I ask, for what purpose might me want to float float weed? Float weed is a sturdy sort of shrub. When floating, several people can stand on it quite securely. Now, a book I read back in Arcade East said that float weed was something used to bridge gaps between rocks and such on mountain paths. I believe that here in Mosphoria, someone attempted to do the very same thing. Fascinating, don't you think? In documents on the Mosphorian highways, one often hears of a place whose name translates roughly to the Windblown Worm God Path. You guys couldn't have shortened that any other way? I'd always wondered what it meant, and now I think it means the path's made of floatweed. And at the end of the path of and and at the end of the path of the gods. Heaven. In other words, this is all, all a way to make a path to the summit. That's my theory at least. So did you follow all that? I followed. Unfortunately I still can't find the route to the summit. Perhaps there's a trick to using floatweed, or perhaps something else is needed. One thing's for sure, I shall get to the bottom of this. And then to the top, obviously. Okay, I'm not quite sure exactly how this will exactly... Exactly how it will exactly work. Brilliant! I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to use these in order to reach this optional Esper. But apparently these shrines are used for said purpose. So it is in my best interest to just activate all these float weed at least for the time being. So at the very least, I mean, I'll have the way open to this optional Esper. Not sure if I'll actually do it or not, but eh, keep my options open. I think there was one more over this way. I think, yeah, there's one over here. Oh, two over here, in fact. All right, so let's activate all of these things. And one more. I wonder exactly when I'll be able to go to these things. The only time we've ever really reached the the sky was Bujerba. And I guess Buromi says counts, because that's high in the mountains. Alright, I think there's another one over there, too. Okay, so I'll go ahead and activate this one. And then there's one final thing that we need to do before we really get going. And can I really get, oh, okay, yeah, I can get over here. But that doesn't actually lead to the thing. It does lead to a person, though. Does this giant boulder look like it's about to topple? If one were to push it from the other side, avalanche. What boulder? This boulder? Ah. Seems like that would be an easy way to get over there. In fact, is there any way I can get over there? Um, okay, there are suddenly markers on my map. I'm now slightly concerned. And also, no, I don't think there is a way I can get over there. I don't think there is. No, there isn't. Okay, then. Well, I may come back and explore this later because... There is another side questy thing that I do want to do right now before I forget. And that would be back at the Esther Sand. Okay, so back here in the Esther Sand, um, I was told of a way that I can continue the side quest. Oh, number 381. Okay, so he's what we need to talk to for one of the hunts that we got. But it was told of a way to actually begin another side quest. And, huh? That was to talk to Dontro's wife again. But, where is she? She was right in front of the building. Oh, wait, is she over here? Yeah, here she is. There's trouble on the North Bank, I'm sure of it. I was... I wish Dontro was here, but you know I can't leave the outpost unwatched. Okay, so 
Apparently, this is the way that I can continue in this side quest. Before I really do anything, do I actually have a name? I'm gonna talk to number 381 because this actually begins another hunt. I may as well just start it. You, you came about the bill? Gonna kill that Bloodwing for me? Uh, yeah, sure. You were in Nalbanel, weren't you? Yeah, you're the one that went picking a fight with Dagunza. Then you made your escape, am I right? No use to dine it. Hell, I was a prisoner there too. Me and my buddy made our escape just after you did. Seems the place isn't as secure as everyone thinks it is. Made it through one of the walls and tunneled our way out with our hands. Came out in the Barheim Passage. Thought we were free. <laughs> it scarcely moved when a Bloodwing swooped out of the gloom. It didn't land any serious bites on me, but my friend, number 982, who weren't so lucky. I have to admit on my shoulder, jumped down in the water, and eventually washed up here. I feel like I've been given a second chance. I don't mean to waste it, but first I gotta see number 982 here gets his revenge, gets the revenge he deserves. That's why you gotta kill this Bloodwing. It's lurking. Deep in the west annex of Barheim Passage. Sorry for the pause there. I was thinking of doing a joke. It didn't really work. Show it no mercy. All right, we'll see what we can do. Bloodwing, the hunt begins. Okay, so where's the Bloodwing? The West Annex of Barheim Passage. Okay, so we're eventually going to need to go back there. We are not going to really concern ourselves with that at the moment. We are gonna concern ourselves with the side quest. Yes, this is Ruxil's boat. There's no mistake in it. What in the name of the gods is happening though, over there? Okay. I guess we are actually going to continue this officially now. This is definitely my dad's boat, but where's my dad? Something bad must have happened. I'm crossing the north bank to see what's going on. I know how to pilot the boat, and there's no point in waiting around here worrying. Nonsense. Watching your father pilot the boat and doing it yourself are two different things. The river is dangerous, boy. What if my dad's in trouble? After him, there's no one that even knows how to pilot the boat except me. Yes, but even if you make it across the river, who knows what you'll find once you're there. I'm sorry, but it's simply too dangerous. Uh, we were over there. There was no one there but a Moogle. But my dad. What if he went with Sugiri? He hunted the flowering cactoid for Dontro. He must know how to defend himself. This is true. What do you say, boy? Will you do this for our village? Will you go to Sugiri to see what's happened on the north bank? I guess we were there before. You just gotta. I'll play the boat. What do you say? Uh, yeah, sure, let's go. Thanks. What are we waiting for? Thank you, boy. Look after Sugiri. Sukiri, ah, I'm just changing this kid's name left and right. Sukiri for us, and you, Sukiri, be careful. The river will swallow the lot of you if you're not. Yep, deserted, just like the last time I came here. Look, over there! Are those... Cactoids? Well, that's new. And there's people there! What the heck? They must have attacked the North Bank! What are we gonna do? I wasn't there before. Wait, there's my dad! And everyone else, too! They're just sitting around doing absolutely nothing! I don't like the look of this one bit. Seems like they're holding him hostage. But what would cactoids want with hostages? I don't believe it. They're running away. The cactoids all up and left. Now's our chance to go help my dad. Okay. I don't know where the cactoids or the people even came from. But if they're here now, then surely that must mean good things. Or really bad things. Hopefully the good things, but probably the bad. I'm so glad you're alright. We didn't know what happened to you. Quite a tale, that one. 
And you've some tales of your own, piloting that the boat all by yourself. I knew you'd got the river in your blood. The others said it was too dangerous, but I knew I could handle it. What about the cactoids? They ran off for good, right? I can only hope so. Still, they're a prickly lot, but um, tsh, can't imagine they'd give up that easily. Whoa, what's that? The huge, now it's a line of cactoids. It's a, what is it, a conga line? No, it's a big one! Oh, okay. That is the leader of the cactoids. Are we gonna fight them? Hey, Prickly Pants, who do you think you are kidnapping my dad? Stay back, Tsukirigri. They're just trying to find their son. Find their son? You mean they're related? Uh-oh. That's right, they're a cactoid family. The eldest son, Dran, went missing, and they set out to find him. They came to our village along the way. Nothing but bad news, this Dran. He's part of a cactoid clan terrorizing the desert. There's even a bounty on his head. Oh, uh, whoops. This one here is the matriarch of the family. She's been searching high and low for him. Wants to bring him back home and set him straight. They couldn't find Dran anywhere in Dalmasca. That's why they needed us. She forced us to guide them in the lands beyond the desert. The Moss Warren Highways, Salika Wood, even the Necro Hall of Nabudis. I'd given up hope of ever making it back. Dang, these cactoids are persistent. They push them. They push you that far. After all that, we still couldn't find him. So they brought us back here for now. But who knows when they'll drag us off again. So there's a bounty on this Dran, huh? You have any idea where he might be? Yeah, kind of. I kind of hunted him. I don't think he's to the north of the river. He must have looked under every... We, no, we must have looked under every stone between here and Arcadia. As for the south bank, well... We weren't about to leave the cactoids there and get you and the others mixed up in this too. So that's why you set the boat adrift. Keep him from making the crossing. I never figured on you coming to rescue me. There's no time for that now. We'll keep him busy while you search the south bank for Dran. Right, just leave it to us. Let's get going. I guess Dran wasn't dead. I mean, all we did was just take his flower. But... Eh, we still kind of beat him up, so let's just keep that part quiet. Okay, so what we need to do now is to just find where Dran is and probably beat him up again. I don't understand. Why would the cactoids invade the village? They're usually harmless enough. Their son, you say? We must find him. The desert is huge. Where would we even begin? Wait. If this cactoid's been causing as much trouble as they say, someone may have posted a bill for him. Unless... And now it comes full circle. Bill Dontro posted. You hunted that cactoid, didn't you? You don't think... Of course! The cactoid you hunted must have been their son! Hunted and made into medicine. Oh, we'll never be able to return him now! Wait, the flower? Oh, I bowled it and threw it away behind the house. Okay, so if the flower... Huh? Low moaning. Oh, that must be the guy who's sick. But then here's... <laughs> Dran? Well, here's the flower. Looks like there's a new cactoid growing at the bottom of it. It moved. It moved again. Okay, well, it's alive. Thank goodness. Okay, well, that definitely could have gone a whole lot worse. Um... Okay, he's actually following us, too. Well, this was relatively simple. Hey, we found Dran. I actually thought I'd need to go back into the desert and try to find him again. Well, that was a whole lot more convenient. You found the cactoid. Wait, you didn't? You hadn't the other one. This one looks just like that one. Huh? Well, none of this makes much sense to me, but I guess we don't have much choice, huh? His family's waiting. 
Let's get him over to the north bank. Okay, maybe they won't notice. Da 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 Seeing those things say Ah tongue twisters Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get him back to his seat. You already said that, kid. Hey there, matriarch of the Cactoid clan. We brought back your son, sort of. Hey, we found your son for you. Now let my dad go. They are dancing in rhythm. Sort of, kind of, maybe. Hmm, I don't know. You think they're buying it? Let's hope so. Otherwise, we've got ourselves a fight. Yep, they looked like they accepted him. Look at him go. This is going to take him in after all. Unless Dran was like reincarnated in that new cactoid. Or they have regenerative powers. I'm going to say they have regenerative powers. And just leave it at that. Uh... Ooh! I got a thousand gil and a pouch of worm fire shot. I guess fire bullets now? And the north bank is populated again! Hooray! Now about those worm fire shots. Doo doo doo. Ooh! Attack power three, element fire. Okay, so they have the exact same power as my Aqua Shot, but they deal fire damage as opposed to water damage. I find more foes are weak to water than they are fire. However, that doesn't stop me from giving these to Balthier, since he just has the Onion Shot. So I'll go ahead and give that to him. And we also got a thousand gil out of the deal. Okay. Now, I'm gonna see what more I can do with talk to these people. Normally, I don't talk to so many NPCs. Uh, that's partially because I don't really want to waste time just talking to every single person, because then that just kind of wastes time. Also, I don't have the patience as when I had as a child. Hopefully, the village will see more travelers again. Travelers bring talk news from the world beyond the sands. Does it put food on our plates? No, but it's pleasant all the same. Okay, well, there isn't much. Do do do. There's a bonga here. I need to make the crossing, but I have the gill. Char charging good money to ride in that. Dingy. Just steal my coin purse and be done with it! Okay, is this. No, it's just a random kid. Now that the cactoids are gone, my mom said I can play outside again. Were other people here on the north bank just hiding in their houses, or what? Oh, well, whatever. Oh, wait. I already talked to you. Whoops. All right, but that seems to have really concluded with this little... Aw, they're embracing. That seems to have really finished up with this side quest. I was told that there was another side quest related to the area that gives a much better reward than just some bullets. But... I'm not sure exactly how to start that one. I like to think of our experience with the cactoids as a positive one. After all, I may never have set foot outside the desert if not for them. Well, I guess they did explore the lands a little bit. I do wonder, since I've helped them out, do I get to cross to and from the river for free? Sweet, I get to cross for free! The crossing normally costs money, but since you've helped us out and all, well, anyway, let's go. Yes! Free passages! So now, are there any new dialogue options from Dontro's wife before I set sail? Keep your voice low, please. Our guest is still sleeping inside. The cactus fire you brought should help with the fever, but not the pain. If I had some Semclam shells, I could make something to ease the pain. You think I could ask you to bring me some? Seven clams live in the shallows along the banks of the river. The more you can bring me, the better. The shallows of the river? Wait, you mean like they would be... Oh, you mean like this? The seven clam shell, hooray! 
Are there any more glints? Or was that like the only one? That seems to be the only one! Okay, well I found you a shell. Will this work? You brought the- oh wow! Apparently it was more than one! Yes, yes, this should do nicely. Unfortunately, our guest wounds continue to bleed. Neverlim can staunch the wound, but we seem to be out. I think Dontro took some with him when he left for the outpost. Would you mind bringing some back to the village? Oh, God, is this going to be a whole huge fetch quest? Ah, fetch quest. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll do this. And then when we start up next episode, then we can actually get back to the main quest. But back to Dontro. Okay, Dontro, we have returned. We have helped your wife. Now, freaking sick appearing out of nowhere. Now you need to help us again. Running errands for my wife, eh? Nebralim. Well, there should be some over by those crates. Help yourself. You mean these crates, or... Which... Which crates? There's... Oh. This crate? Yeah, this crate. Yay! We got the item. Now we have to run all the way back. Uh, well, it's at least it's just populated by low-level enemies that we can just run away with easily. Oh, run away with? Run away from! English helps! We have returned with your file of whatever. It's like you can reappear at any time. You have the Nebralim. Wonderful. A little of this spread over the wound should staunch the bleeding. Now to do something about the poison. Some Veil Blossom Dew would quickly neutralize it. Ugh. I hate to ask for your help yet again, but do you think you could gather some for me? You should find some blooming along the cliffs in the broken sands. Okay, we have a brand new area that we need to deal with. And by brand new area, it means probably not really that new. Uh, what is that thing? That's the Murmuring Defile. So that's not it. Stepping. Yoma. Broken Sands. Okay, so it's on the way to the Moss Forest and Highway. And where exactly? On the Cliffs of the Broken Sands. Okay, so at least we know exactly where we need to go. I guess I'll head over to the Broken Sands and just go ahead and get them. Alright, now where this thing should be is some... Okay, Dontra's wife said it was somewhere on the cliffs of this area. Oh! Would that would this be it? A drop of Veil Blossom Dew! Hooray, we found it! Quite easily! Okay, now to make the relatively short trek back to Dontra's wife. Again. <laughs> okay, we got the dew drop things from the flowers, if you would so kindly spawn. Um, where are you? So there's the moaning. Because you can actually see people moan. Where's Dontro's wife? Oh, there she is. Why did you not freaking spawn when everyone else did? You found the Veil Blossom Dew? Wonderful! This should flush the poison from the body. Now we have t only to wait and hope. Is that... Is that a great serpent skin by chance? Oh, finally we're seeing a use for this thing. Boiled and, and distilled, it makes a potent restorative drought. It may speed our guest's recovery. This great serpent skin, would you give it to me? Um, yeah, sure. Thank you. I shall prepare the draught at once. I'm sure it will be of help. Okay. Tell me more than I can hope. The traveler rests now, and I expect a full recovery before long. Okay. I really hope I didn't just screw that up or something. I don't know. Maybe time has to pass or something? I don't know. Maybe if I leave and then come back, maybe she'll have something for me. I swear, if I did all that and didn't get a single thing out of it, I'm going to be really pissed off. Please give me something. Please give me something. Please give me something. Please make this whole trekking through the Esther Sand be worth all this. You can spawn at any time now. Wah! Camera! Why did you suddenly move to that position? 
There you are. Our guest is fully recovered now. Should be just around back. Wanted to give you a word of thanks if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. So the guy should be right here. Recovering Traveler. You the one as brought the medicines for me while I was laid up, are you? Suppose I owe you my thanks, boy. I'm a treasure hunter by trade. Heard there was a great treasure deep in Barheim Passage. So I posted two mates at the entrance and went in. But I was played false. Didn't find no treasure. But a hideous beast lied in wait instead. When I saw that, I panicked and ran. The next thing I remember is waking up here, being nursed back to health. Well, I ain't going back in there. You want the key to Barheim? It's yours. Alright, now I got the key to Barheim Passage. There's more than one way into Barheim Passage. I hear there's another entrance somewhere in the Ester Sand. Good luck finding it. About that. Time I was leaving. The fool mates of mine will be wondering where I got to. Take care, you hear? You have nothing without your health. Heh. <laughs> Balance mount. Yay. Okay, now that we have the key to Barheim Passage, though, I'm guessing, in theory, we could head back the way we exited. And he saw that there was some sort of beast. That wouldn't have been... Uh, the boss that we had to fight to get out of that. Forget what it was. I was thinking Flame Mare, but that wasn't it. That was before we got sent to Barheim. Um... But I suppose if we could head back there, there's probably some sort of optional boss or something lying in wait for us. Um, but that will do it for this episode. So, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XII, uh, we will be doing one of two things. We will either be heading back to the sh Shuta, whatever, uh, islands or passage or whatever, and continuing our progress of the main story. Or, we may just head on over to Barheim Passage and see if there is anything for us to do there now that we have this key. If it is indeed there something helpful for us to do there, and it gives a great reward, and we can do it at our current levels, then we'll be doing that. If not, then it's back to the main story for us. So until next time, everyone, take care.